Oh, oh, yes. This is how you exfoliate a motor. Now ready to put in Bald Eagle camshaft, baby. Mwah! Welcome back to the Tony Bush Jr. Show, baby. And today, we're putting the engine back together for Zen, AKA the 69 Camaro. So guess what? That means the Holly oil pan, the heads, the bald eagle cam, baby. Oh, oh. All that's going on, carbon fiber intake, Johnson lifters, ARP studs. Ah. It's all going on. I'm juiced. I can't wait to get this thing going. So you know what to do. Without further ado, hit the mother sucking buttons, the like, the comment, the share, the subscribe. I'm going to go get the parts together in here. First things first, I got to take all this tape off that's been protecting the motor. Um, yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been on here a while. So hopefully it comes off nice and easy. Let's go ahead and rip these band-aids off. Oh yeah, oh wait, can I get a good starting point? Oh, here we go. Uh, good. Uh, uh. Expose yourself, Expo exfoliate. This is, this is how you exfoliate. This is how you exfoliate a motor. You, you know, you, instead of putting zucchinis on, we put on painter's tape. This is a face mask for your motor. <laughs> oh, oh man, this is how you take your motor to the beauty spa. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, let's get all up in there. Let's see that goodness. Let's see what, see what gems you hide behind your body. All right. So before we do the cam swap, first things first, got to make sure my timing marks are lined up right. It's super easy to do it on the LS. It's just two dots. They got to line them up, six and 12. That's it. They just got to be staring off at each other in the face. And that's how you know your timing marks are right on the LS motor. Look, look, I'm not going to even look. I'm going to guess it. I'm going to guess it. Mm, mm, I'm joking. <laughs> All right. So my marks are good. So now I can take off the oil pump and the gear, the cam gear. The other step I have to do is the oil pan because I have to get to, there's a bolt inside this oil pump that connects to the pickup tube and you can't get it unless you drop the oil pan. So I'm gonna do that to make life easy and get ready to pull this camshaft out. Back in that, back in that bag and yeah, whoa. Yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that going. Damn, she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh, 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 say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't ran into a freaking issue, everybody. Check it out. So I forgot to order the aftermarket cam gear uh, for the LS3. The stock LS3 comes with this single bolt, but when you upgrade to some performance, you see that right there? That is a three bolt hole camshaft. And this cam gear should also have these same three holes because we're replacing it. And I forgot to order the new one. What that means, I'm still working. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to order this part, um, but I, I'll still be able to put the cam in. I can still take out the, the old lifters and put the new lifters in um, and uh, do the oil pan uh, with the new windage tray and pickup tube. So I'm still working, but I gotta order that part, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna finish this up until the stopping point, and then we'll continue this episode with the new cam gear when it comes. Ah oh, man, it was it was going so good, and then we got a small hiccup, but we still moving, baby. Oh say less, I'm back in that bag again. Yeah yeah. Oh say less, I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah yeah. I'm back in that. Hey. Where you going? And you should know that we on this forever. You don't know me well, just ask again. You know and you should know that I'm with all the f Three, seven, 
19, 100. Oh, oh, hey, so <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> so we are now ready to put in the bald eagle. I don't know if y'all can see that. The bald eagle camshaft, baby. Ah, it's time to, it's time to fly these eagles. But I figured I'd hit a couple reps first before I go in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta get it all prime and ready. <laughs> nah, but what you gotta do is you wanna take this engine assembly lube and just put a nice coat along the camshaft. Uh, that way it's all lubricated and you don't have metal on metal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lube up the camshaft, throw that bad boy in there, and then move on to the Johnson lifters. Mm. Oh, say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm back in that. Hey. Where you going? Hey. And you should know that we on this forever. You don't know me well. Just ask again. You know and you should know that I'm with all the. Why you sit down and just watch the film? And you should know that Khan got a bottle of Don feeling like Julio Pasadena. Mind on some M's going in. Back in that bag where I'm going again. I'm dunking on them. Just lower the rim. Free my It's all in a pen. I hit it once. I'ma hit it again. She with me. You know she a 10. She a Barbie. You know I'm a Ken. Rolling some dope. And sipping some gin. It's always been us. It never was them. Back in my bag. They know it's a gem. Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that doing. Damn, she took that thing off. And bring it around, going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole, I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, oh, say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah, oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm back in that. Hey, where you going? You know what time it is? <laughs> it's time and cover time. <laughs> so I'm finally at the point to where I can install the time and cover and to really accentuate this color and really give it some contrast. I painted the factory bolts black. Now Eastwood is a company that sells this kit. It's a metal blackening kit and it'll turn your natural finish hardware, brackets, whatever you have into black. Super easy to use, super durable. It, it withstands brake fluid, grease, uh, supposedly it doesn't chip and it has a high temperature tolerance also. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Go ahead and install it, baby. It's it's coming together. Ooh, that look that looking pretty good right there. That that's looking nice. And uh, the material is withstood the sockets. Look, I, there's no chipping on any of the bolts. Uh, so I think we're a winner, man. Uh, Eastwood, y'all got a dang good product. It held up to getting torqued down. I don't see any chips nowhere on any bolts. Um, now I got to do it to all the rest of the accessories. But before we do that, I'm still waiting on the replacement Johnson lifters. Uh, they accidentally sent me lifters for a small block Chevy instead of an LS. Uh, so I'm waiting for those to come in. But in the meantime, we got these ARP studs. You know, I'm, I am like to consider myself as a stud. I might even be two studs. <laughs> so uh, while we wait for the Johnson lifters to come, uh, I can go ahead and put these bad boys on. And uh, man, this is, uh, this is turning out quite nicely. All right, so the next part of this build is upgrading the Valve Springs, baby. Mm, yes, beer camshaft means we gotta get beefier springs these bad boys are double springs from Texas Speed. I've done a set already um, on this cylinder head. I got one cylinder head already done. Now I just got to do the, the other three, which is very tedious. It's, it's a very tedious, slow drowning process, but it's got to get done. So I'm going to whip the rest of these bad boys up so we can uh, install some cylinder heads, baby. Let's do it. And wow. 
there we go. New double valve springs with new seats and retainers and all the good stuff. Now I can install the cylinder heads because they have been upgraded, baby. Yeah, oh yeah, nice and flush. Everything looks good, nice and tight, nice and tight. Time to go to the next phase. But look, I couldn't wait no longer. Y'all want to see it. I want to see it. Check this mother sucker out. Woo! Woo! Oh, God, Jesus! Woo! Yes! Oh, man. Oh, that came out nice. Now, if you guys see, I got like, I got blue tape in certain places. This is a mock-up because I still have to get the bolts for the carbon valve covers. I still have to put in the, the valley cover bolts. So I just wanted to make sure everything lined up correctly before I fully or before I permanently uh before I permanently install everything. But look at this mother sucker! Oh, and of course the the fuel rails and the injectors and everything. But I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I needed to show y'all this. This is the final color assembly. And man, I, this is just, this is freaking dope. Um, again, see, those are the bolts that, these are the factory bolts. And what I did was use the, the metal blackening kit from Eastwood that turns your factory raw uh finished bolts or hardware brackets whatever and it turns them black um simple simple product very easy to use and i really like how the contrast of the black with the cerakote color came out it's beautiful oh oh my goodness Woo -wee! so i appreciate y'all for rocking with me uh, the next thing I have to do is again, I have to take this apart again uh, because there's uh, there's some more hardware and stuff that I need to like finally install and torque everything down and get it ready because on the next episode, <laughs> woo, we might be, might, we might be putting this NG on and transmission on in Zen, baby. Oh, Yes, it might happen. It might happen. So I appreciate y'all for rocking with the channel, for rocking with the build of the NG on. Don't forget to hit those mother sucking buttons, the share, the like, the subscribe. I got to tear this bag down and then put it back together. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye -bye.